Welcome, 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 welcome one and welcome all to our fun fashion show where we put fun in functional attire, as you can see. I just want to say welcome and lastly I want to say thank you to everyone who's been involved in this uh, unique fashion show. Thank you, I hope you all enjoy. Next, we'll have remarks from Margaret Coster. She's the program coordinator at the Bob Gilmore Center. Let's welcome Margaret. Hello, thank you all. You know my first words. Kindly turn off your cell phones at this time, please. Please know that the fun fashion show humor depends on people being able to hear the narrator. If you get a call, you must take the call, then you must go out in the hallway, please. Also, if you must talk to your neighbor, please be considerate and go out in the hallway also. We appreciate your consideration for others. Thank you. There's one other thing I need to add. I wasn't supposed to say anything else, but I wanted to let you all know Debbie Edwards has worked hard and heavy at this. Debbie, come here. I'm going to embarrass her. I don't mean to embarrass her, but this woman gives her heart 150%. Really, she has a heart bigger than Texas. Not bigger than Margo's. No, if you know Debbie, you know she has a big heart. She does, thank you. I think you all ought to stand up and clap. Thank you, thank you. I think everybody should rise. Show her how much we love her. We do. We love you, Debbie. And with this said, the day that Debbie decides she wants to take a break, she's getting a full body massage at Blonde Spa and Salon. As a big thank you because I think she deserves it and I think she needs it. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, man. Debbie, we love you. Thank you, Margo. What would we do without you? You always make it so perfect, everything you do. Well, honey. I, I know she does, she has a lot of good help. But you know what? This is the woman that stayed here until 2.30 this morning, okay? <laughs> she gives her heart 100%. So you give her love today and you tell her how much you love her and appreciate her. You hear me? Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. We love you. I'm going to tell you something, that's one woman that worked way beyond the scenes, putting costumes together, getting encouragement, getting the Gilmore Center excited about doing things. And uh, we can't thank Margo enough because she's always there for everybody. And I thank her for all that she does for everybody. She's, got a, she's the one that's got the tremendous heart. All right. And uh, we all both love you all to pieces. So that you make our lives pleasure and joy. You give us joy. With that being said, there's a few things I need to say and a few acknowledgments I need to make besides the ones I just did. I'd like to thank our corporate sponsor today. Listen, these fine, fine businesses and organizations just are there for you. They care about you, they care about the community. And they're here today because they are sponsoring this event. So as I mention their name, I want you to, uh, I want them to rise. And I would like for uh, y'all to clap your hands for each and every one of them. Uh, unfortunately, Bethany Home Health could not be with us, but they sent their sponsorship, and we can't thank them enough. So we thank our sweet friends from Bethany. Creekside Terrace, we got a great friend and a great man in Patrick Hudson. He's director of business development. Sweet, and just a wonderful human being. Hill Country Home Health, we have great representatives here. Brandy Gutierrez and Richard Rodriguez, their care transition coordinators, great, great, great group of people. Southern Care Hospice Service, Chelsea Hefner, we love you, community special relationships, we are great soul to work with. Texas uh, Med, Tex Med Home Health, who uh, you all know is Angela Roberts and Christina Pantoja. Angela is a county executive and Christina is an assistant administrator. We can't thank you guys so much. United Healthcare, we are pleased that we have such great friends in this wonderful uh, organization. We have Ms. Jacqueline Walker, also known as Jackie Burrow, from Community Outreach Specialist. 
Angel Encenas. He's the Marketing Executive Director. Thank you for coming. And let's not forget our sweet Susan Wilson Sanchez. She's a member advocate. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And we hope that we'll see more of you here. Not just for sponsors, just to kind of have a, a, a good meal with us and fellowship. Okay? And thank you again for making this event possible. You are the wings beneath the, who the wind beneath the wings? I'll get it right. <laughs> All right. Um, there's other, some other people I'd like to thank before we get this started. Uh, behind the scenes, I want to, I want to like to thank, uh, uh, Dr. Cott and Roy Murray for doing the video today. Uh, Dr. Cott and Roy, they do so much for the, um, for the community. Can't thank them enough. Dr. Cott, you've added so much to the lives of everybody and all that you do, not just for one group of people, but for our whole community and all different cultures and all different celebrations. You are a real impetus behind them, and we can't thank you very much. And uh, I'd like to say a thank you to the ones that have helped behind the scenes. Um, I'd like to thank Margaret and, uh, and um, Georgia Lane back there signing. It was a little chaotic at first, but y'all buried it and you did it real well. I want to thank Georgia and, and Margaret very much. Debbie, Tommy Hayden, the new people back there, Maggie Bates. I want to say a thank you to the ones behind the scenes that really, really were here, there to help put all the, uh, the um, practices together and help us get people lined up. Um, well, we have a great man and a great friend in our sweet Walter, Walter Shuck. He provides music for not only this event, but also for the dances. He does a dance once a month for our parties and everything. Walter's always there. And I thank him and his sweet sister and Jean Hudson and also uh, Marion Demings and, of course, Walter for providing music and also the, the support they give us behind the scenes. Let's give them a round of applause. Our sweet kitchen angels, I never have to ask more than once. They're always there for us. Arnetta, Sandra, Gisela, and our new our chefs, uh, uh, Alicia and Brian. We can't thank y'all enough. Please stand up at this time. The kitchen angels, whether you work today or you work during the week. Arnetta, I know you're here. Anybody else? Kitchen angels, rise at this time. Yay, heroes behind the scenes. I'd like to thank... Also, Laura Zuna, who works the office desk, Mary Wega, and, and who works at what office desk, and our sweet Romy Allen, who is, they put up with me, let me tell you. And I would like to say a public thank you for them, because not only are they great people to work with, but they're great friends, and they're great human beings, and they really do care. And I want to say a public thank you, my sweet Romy. God bless you. Mary and Laura, you're the wings. Again, the wind underneath the wings. Thank you. Let's give them a nice round of applause. Okay. I, I work for a great man. Y'all may have not had a chance. He did our welcome just a minute ago. His name's Matt Winowski. He's Assistant Director of Parks and Recreation. He's really kind of unassuming, but he's there for you every minute. He helped orchestrate getting the room set up and Anytime I whimper, he's there for me and also for the center. He's a great man to work for, and I just want to publicly thank him for being a great boss. And Matt, I tell you, in front of your wife, he's my lucky kid. <laughs> and I want to say, even though she's not here, Robin D. Carden Cemetery for help set up the room, and Matt for helping orchestrate all that. Uh, if you look at your program in the back, I have volunteers. They're listed. And Linda and Dina, Margie Andrews, Dorothy Bell, Joanna Downs, Lori Mansfield, Terry Oxley, Regina Sedbury, Lori Smith, costume assistants, Maggie Bates, Kim Harris, Tommy Hagen, show assistants, Barry Crockett, Joanna Downs, Ty Manning, Debbie Morris, and all the assistants. Again, thank you, sweet and wonderful people, for making this day happen. Now, are you ready for some fun? Okay, we're ready to party. And I've got a member. And uh, before we get started, a lot of the humor today depends on people being quiet to hear the play on the words. So in other words, if, you know, if, if there's some kinds of disruption, I might have to stop. So please listen so you'll get the humor out of it. Many of you may remember your favorite reading pals, Dick and Jane. How many of y'all remember Dick and Jane? You may remember 
remember how Jane ran, 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 and also how Dick runs fast, fast, fast. Many have often wondered, what happened to our old reading friends? Well, we're here today to tell you that Dick and Jane are alive and well, and now walk, walk, walk to their nearest senior center. Many have often asked if Dick and Jane stayed acquainted after all that running and playing. In fact, they most certainly did. They flourished. Today, we're here to share with you their personal love story and how fashion played a big part in bringing those healthy hearts together. She sailed seashells down by the seashore by sunset. She was so, so sweet. And her seersucker suit, Dick would sprint, sprint, sprint to see her at the seashore to stop up on seashells. Seashells for sale, seashells for sale, seashells for sale, Jane would say. <laughs> she has her all day sucker in hand ready to go. Way to go, Jane. Jane 